We are in Riga. This is my first time in Latvia and obviously, as always, we're trying to go to the very best restaurants in town. Tonight we're dining at Max Sikot Kitchen. This is a modern Latvian fine dining restaurant. Chef Max crafts a 10 course tasting menu using lots of local ingredients, some of which come from the greenhouse in the garden right outside the restaurant. The restaurant's located a little bit outside the city center. It's not in the old town, it's across the river, but it's worth the journey because it's in this amazing historic venue that once was a wood factory. Now it's been converted into a restaurant, but lots of the old elements remain, like these beautiful spiral staircases, windows letting in lots of natural light, plants, greenhouses, and an open kitchen. My name is Max Zeckert and this is my restaurant Max Zeckert Kitchen. We sell everything which we have to open the restaurant and everyone didn't tell that Max is not going to work and we said uh, we're going to try it. If it doesn't work, uh, at least we know we tried it and I can tell my kids. First year was uh, tough to explain people so this is the testing menu, this is the ingredients we're looking for. So the menu changes every month, every two months, depends on the season every ingredients we can have is the perfect condition and we're not gonna put the, the fatty sauce on the top of the fantastic product so we're gonna give exactly the taste of the uh, um, forest the taste of the garden the taste of the sea this is our garden a lot of things growing here Ooh, what is this one <laughs> well it's like it's intense if, if we're gonna use this one uh, you don't need sugar anymore it's so sour it's so sour yeah so you don't need lemon maybe. So usually when you ask me uh, how we create some flavors, this is the place. This is my testing menu for you. I know, you can <laughs> eat like a, a whole meal in here. Oh, this is the olive leaf. The Mediterranean. Yeah. You need a martini now. <laughs> yeah. Put that in. <laughs> the nature just makes this just so delicious and uh, beautiful. This is Bicogne I use for the fish in the menu. If you try this one, it's have a lot of acidity, a little bit fruitiness. Some little fresh berries as well in the end. Wow. Sometimes people think that I just uh, do it for decoration, but anything in plate should be delicious. Only when we find the place which is gonna be perfect for our vision and for our um, imagination, we open restaurant. Because my wife is a professional photographer, she's always looking for some strange uh, areas and with a good lighting. So she said, Max, I was in one studio and one place which you need to just, just check it out. And this is the 100 years old building. It was a factory. Climbing the stairs is like Alice in Wonderland entering the looking glass. You go step by step, higher and higher, until you poke your head above the ground and enter the second floor dining room. The entrance really sets the mood for the entire experience. Max and his wife have designed every detail of the restaurant by hand, from the tables to the light fixtures to the ceramics on the table. The meal starts with a fresh dish of local tomatoes, mussels, and sunflower petal oil. And the finest caviar, this is the sturgeon from the local farm. So this, guys, is actually the gold of Latvia, how are they called? <laughs> because it's quite sweet. And this is what we're looking for. The sweetest, the, the caviar, the better. So the, the next dish, it's uh, actually onion. On the top, you have the wild strawberries, uh, which were frozen in minus 32 degrees, to get you the real forest flavors. A little bit of nasturtium leaves opens uh, a more peppery and some horseradish in the end. The dish is between sweet and sour, hot and hot. So please enjoy it.
And for the bread, we make own pesto. We use the pineapple, which been cooked in 180 degrees in seven minutes. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for the like a little bit cheesy and mushroomy flavors. So this is the green oil for four different peppermints and dill flowers. I make my own yeast, so three and a half years when we open a restaurant and this mixed with the flour and the water helps us to control the quality of the bread. Ravioli with the set mushrooms from the local mushrooms. The dough made from three different uh, varieties of uh, our leftovers, how we sell it. All the skin uh, from the carrots, which have been burned, so give you the black color. Uh, the green, uh, actually, the leaves uh, from the mint. So the main ingredients, of course, we have the mushrooms. So the next dish you have the beetroot, uh, which is our signature dish. Uh, this is a uh, beetroot and cherries. So the beetroot we grill it a little bit to get the smokiness to it and the cherries we completely burn it to skin out to give a little bit uh, more apple flavor and some herbs as well. It's a simple dish but it's a lot of uh, flavors on the top. Even the powder which you can see this is just the skin so we use the all ingredients. So next one is actually amber jack. You can see these guys uh, straight in the dry age fridges. Uh, so we spend about 34, 36 days, depends on the size of the fish. And this is sauce made with the bones of fish, a little bit lemon verbena, some chicken stock, some seaweed, and to balance it with the cream. This is the, one, the best uh, ice cream uh, uh, recipe I made. This is the white chocolate and fresh honeysuckle with a little bit of petals from uh, Petunia, which just give you a little bit uh, acidity and some honey flavors as well. Max Sukat has a very light and delicate cooking style which is elevated by his use of herbs and flowers from his garden and greenhouses. If you're planning a trip to Riga, be sure to put Max Sikot Kitchen on your foodie bucket list. This is a restaurant unlike anything Latvia has ever seen. If you like our work, support us on Patreon, where we also have a food community called The Hungries. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more food and travel videos. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at Andrews Husa and Carnivore. Thanks for watching.